This is WDSU News at 10. More and more stories about sick fishermen are beginning to surface. They're out in the Gulf, many of them all day, every day, working to clean up the spill. Many blame the chemicals BP is using. One fisherman told me tonight he felt like he was going to die over the weekend. I mean, I've been up coughing, coughing up, coughing up stuff. You, you, your lungs fill up. Gary Burris is a longtime fisherman who has worked across the Gulf Coast. He says he woke up Sunday night feeling drugged and disoriented. Like a sniffing gasoline or something, you know. Uh, and I still, my ears are popping right now. I'm still coughing up stuff. I feel real weak, uh, a little tingling. Marine toxicologist Ricky Ott says the chemicals used by BP can wreak havoc on a person's body and even lead to death. The volatile organic carbons are a, they act like a narcotic on the brain, and at high concentrations, what we learned in Exxon Valdez from carcasses of harbor seals and sea otters, it actually literally fried the brain, brain lesions. Congressman Charlie Malasaw wants something done. He sent a letter to the Obama administration calling for temporary health care clinics to be set up close by so that there can be immediate attention uh, to any people that feel that they have problems, uh, adverse problems that are caused by the um, inhalation or exposure to um, the, uh, the oil. According to Burris, some equipment was donated to workers in Lafitte, but as far as he can tell, BP has not added anything to the mix. And he says a lot of fishermen are working sick, afraid to speak out because it could cost them. You got a woman with a baby in the oven and bills due and fishing's closed down. You're going to do whatever you have to to look after your family. Burris says when he went to the doctor after feeling ill on Sunday, the doctor told him his lungs looked like the victims of a three-pack-a-day smoker. And Burris says he has never smoked.